Greetings YouTube, theories of magic definitions of relevant terminology, the formal's perspectives on magic and anthropology are functionalist, symbolist and intellectualist. These three perspectives are used to describe how magic works in a society. The functionalist perspective, usually associated with Bronislaw Malinowski, maintains that all aspects of society are meaningful and interrelated. In the functionalist perspective, magic performs a latent function in the society. The symbolist perspective researches the subtle meaning in rituals and myths that define a society and deals with questions of theodicy why do bad things happen to good people. Finally the intellectualist perspective, associated with Edward Burnett Tyler and Sir James Fraser, regard magic as logical, but based on a flawed understanding of the world, in other words as bad science. Magical thinking in anthropology, psychology, and cognitive science is not scientific causal reasoning, that often includes such ideas as associative thinking, the ability of the mind, to affect the physical world and correlation mistaken for causation. Symbolic expression may be brought into play, as well as the use of metaphor, metonym, and synchronicity. Practitioners of magic are often portrayed as irrational, but some theorists maintain that the magician's goals are not necessarily physical, and that magical practices are, in some cases, genuinely efficacious. Theories of magic, science, and religion magic, science and religion are categories of beliefs and systems of knowledge used within societies. While generally considered distinct categories in Western cultures, the interactions, similarities, and differences has been central to the study of magic for many of the great theorists in sociology and anthropology, including Fraser, Moss, Tambia and Malinowski. From the intellectualist and functionalist perspectives magic is often considered most analogous to science and technology. From the symbolist perspective, in A General Theory of Magic, Marcel Moss classifies magic as a social phenomenon, akin to religion and science, but yet a distinct category. In practice magic bears a strong resemblance to religion. Both use similar types of rites, materials, social roles and relationships to accomplish aims and engender belief. They both operate on similar principles, in particular those of consecration and sacredness of objects and places, interaction with supernatural powers mediated by an expert, employment of symbolism, sacrifice, purification, and representation in rites, and the importance of tradition and continuation of knowledge. Magic and religion also share a collective character and totality of belief. The rules and powers of each are determined by the community's ideals and beliefs, and so may slowly evolve. Additionally neither supports partial belief. Belief in one aspect of the phenomena necessitates belief in the whole, and each is incorporates structural loopholes, to accommodate contradictions the distinction Moss draws between religion and magic is both of sentiment and practice. He portrays magic as an element of pre-modern societies, and in many respects an antithesis of religion. Magic is secretive and isolated, rarely performed openly to preserve occult knowledge. Religion is predictable, and proscribed and is usually performed openly, to impart knowledge to the community. While these two phenomena share many ritual forms, Moss concludes that a magical rite has any rite that does not play a part in organized cults. It is private, secret, mysterious and approaches the limit of prohibited right. In practice, magic differs from religion in desired outcome. Religion seeks to satisfy moral and metaphysical ends, while magic is functional art often seeking to accomplish tangible results. In this respect magic resembles technology and science. Belief in each is diffuse, universal, and removed from the origin of the practice. Yet, the similarity between these social phenomena is limited, as science is based in experimentation and development, while magic is a priori belief. Moss concludes that, though magical beliefs and rites are most analogous to religion, magic remains a social phenomenon distinct from religion and science with its own characteristic rules, acts, and aims.